Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing viewer mail, and I have a ton here. By the way, if you guys notice, my tongue is black. I've been sucking on something black. Black jelly beans. Happy Easter, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I have gotten tons of mail, like I said. I am not going to go through all of this mail because it is just too, too much. Um, most of this is from Swapbot. That is basically um, a website where you can go on and just like do different craft swaps or whatever. But that is what all of this basically is. There might be some odds and ends in here, but I have opened everything already and it is just too much to go through um, with you guys, you know, on film. So basically what I'm going to show you guys are all of my postcards and then some of the gifts that I have received from viewers. So let's do my postcards first. Um, these postcards, and I'm not gonna read any of them to you, I'm just gonna show you the pictures because there's so many I have been lacking in videos. I'm so sorry about that, you guys. Um, I have been a very busy person with work and my schedule. Um, I've just been kind of behind on the game here. But anyway, these are all the postcards that I got from uh, Swapbot, so I will show them first. So there is that one. That one was a foreign one. Um, this one just has a penguin on it. There was just like a whole bunch of different ones. That one's got coffee. I have been trying desperately to find different postcards and collect different postcards. Um, if you guys collect postcards, leave a comment down below. I would be very interested to know who does or if you have other collections, um, you know, of different paper things or whatever that you guys collect. This one was an odd shaped one. I've never seen a postcard that was not in the shape of a rectangle before. That one's kind of pretty. But um, some of these are tourist postcards. Some of them are artsy postcards, which I love the art ones as well. This one is two birds. And some of these, um, they decorated the back. Like this one has a little monkey sticker on it. And then we've got Colorado Springs, one here from Arizona, this one, I don't, this one's from Japan, because some of these are foreign ones as well. Um, this one was from Germany, we've got this one here, there's a beautiful owl. New York City. This one I've seen before. Um, this is a famous painting. Pineapples. This one's just blue. What happens? This one is a vintage one. Vietnam. This one is a dog. Man's best friend. Oregon, or Oregon, I don't know. Amish farm, love the Amish people, you guys. I thought I had gotten an Amish pen pal, but you guys, I think when I responded to her, she got scared off at my enthusiasm with her being, actually, she wasn't Amish, she was Mennonite, and I think she got scared off after I told her who I was. Um, cause she like, we were in a swap together and she, oh, this is a pretty one. This is a foreign one. We were in a swap together and she wrote me like this long letter. And I was so excited when she told me in the letter that she was Mennonite. And I was like, I wrote back and I was like, oh my God, you know, girl, you have no idea how obsessed I am with the Amish and the Mennonite. And I've always wanted to, you know, be an Amish person like for a month. And I mean, I probably, oh, this one's from Alabama. I probably, you know, might have upset her a little bit. Um, I told her I was the rant lady also. So, oh no, no, I didn't. I didn't tell her who I was because I thought, you know what? 
If I tell her who I am, she's not going to want to really have anything to do with me. Look at that baby porcupine, you guys. It's so cute. Anyway, um, so I wrote back to her like this long, lengthy letter, and I haven't heard anything back from her again. So I'm kind of devastated about that. Look at that turtle. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. This one's just purple. Um, so if you guys know any Amish or Mennonite people out there, like, tell me, share my P.O. box with them, and I will definitely, uh, you know, become pen pals because I'm serious. I'm so obsessed. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys some of the postcards that I got from po Post Crossings. Now, Post Crossings is a little bit different than SwapBot. Post Crossings is strictly postcards where you exchange postcards from mainly 90% out of your country. So it's really, really cool. Um, I do have, I think, one from the United States. But um, let me see here. This one is from England. And this is just a whole bunch of Easter eggs with flowers. This one is from... I don't know where this is from. It just says something Cornwall. Um, R-A-I-H... N A H. I don't Portugal. Oh, Portugal. There we go. I have no idea, you guys. It's so foreign to me. This one is from Indonesia. Really cute. This one, I believe, is from um Germany, possibly. No, Russia. Russia? I don't know. Anyway, it's a bird on the front here. And then look at how they have everything. So beautiful with the stamps in the back of the card. I think that's cool. This one is from Australia. And this one is from the United States, but still post crossing. Um, this one is Connecticut. And then this one, a viewer actually sent me, and I'm not sure where she's from. I think the Netherlands. But look at how beautiful, first of all, the back of the card. I think that's really pretty the way she decorated it. And then the front just has some ladies swimming, which is so funny because this is mainly what 90% of the women in the pool look like when I exercise before work. And then this one is a po postcard from Scotland, and I've never seen one that looks like this before. It is definitely an odd shape, but it came to me still. And yeah, Scotland. So I thought that that was really cool. So next, I'm going to show you guys some gifts that I have received. Um, this one is from Nicole Rudy out of, I believe she's from New York, New York. And I had went to my P.O. box and they told me that I had a package and I was just like, I'm not expecting any packages. And they said, but you have one. So I look and it is a Yankee candle box. And I'm like, okay, what did you guys do? Well, she sent me lilac blossoms in a large jar. You guys, this one is one of my favorite scents. First of all, she knows that my favorite color is purple, and she knows that my favorite flower of all time is the lilac. It just, it reminds me of home because my parents had lilac bushes, like, all around the backyard, and actually where my um, dog, that my previous dog that I had, that uh, before I had Snooky, I actually buried her underneath some lilac bushes that were not doing so well. And it's amazing because all of a sudden the next year they are just blossoming. But anyway, so she got me this lilac blossoms and now Snooky is upset. You be quiet. Go lay down. And then she got me this beautiful lid. You guys, this is so pretty. Let me put it on the candle. It's going to be perfect for Easter, which that is when this video is going to go up. But isn't this beautiful? So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And it smells amazing. This one right here keeps on barking. And I don't know why she just wants attention again. I thought we kind of moved past this. Apparently not. Okay, you go on the bed behind me. Oh, anyway, um... Then I wanted to show you guys, now this is one of the swaps that I did through SwapBot, and I actually hosted this one myself. So um, basically what the swap was is Keurig Coffee. You signed up, you got issued a SwapBot partner, and you sent them uh, five Keurig K-Cups, and you kind of swapped, you know, you could 
try something that you normally don't drink or uh, maybe find out their favorites. So this was the lovely card that my swap up partner sent me. And um, actually, I got chosen by somebody else. So I did not send this to her. She just sent this to me. And it says, happy thoughts make happy days. And I believe she made this card herself. And inside it just says, greetings from Texas. I hope this coffee helps warm you up a bit. I checked y'all's weather and it's cold up there. One of the coffees are considered off brand, but it's in addition to the five um, that were in the swap. Enjoy Miss Allie. So this is what she sent me. She sent me a Starbucks French Roast Dark, which is that there. And of course, my camera is not going to focus because why would we focus today? Today is not different than any other day. Then we've got a Cone Vanilla Macadamia, which looks awesome. Then we have... Archer Farms Caramel Macchiato, which I am so excited to try, Light Roast. That is by Target, and I love Target coffee. This one is Green Mountain Coffee Hazelnut Decaf. Love it. And then there's only two more in here. This one is some Sumatria Dark by Starbucks. I don't know you guys how to pronounce these things. Oh, there's two more, actually. Then this one is by the Donut Shop, and it is Sweet and Creamy Nutty Hazelnut. Focus, please. And then the last one here is Green Mountain Coffee in Hazelnut as well. So that was awesome. So that's just kind of a little, like, inside as to, you know, what the uh, swap bots kind of can consist of. And then let's see here. Let me put this away. And I did actually um, get a thank you card also from Jesse that I wanted to share. Uh, Jesse bought one of my wax D stashes in my group, and she sent this cute little thank you card and um, just a very quick note in here. And she put my name like that, and it was just really nice. Um, Jesse's going through a very hard time right now, you guys. So if um, there are any prayers that can be said right now, please include Jesse in your thoughts. And, um, yeah, that was so nice to send a thank you card. And then I also got something here. This, I wasn't sure who this was from. It was from Australia Airmail. And right away when I saw Australia, I thought, Richard, it has to be Richard because Richard sent me things from Australia. So inside was this card that looks like this. And it just says, Dear Angela, this is Richard from Australia again. And then he writes this little card and it's so sweet. And inside, I was like, what is this? This is very interesting. And um, it is from a museum. And look at you guys, it is a peacock on there. But you open up this little sachet, this little tiny sachet. And inside is this huge mother effing peacock bag. Oh, heavens to Betsy. I love it. Thank you so much, Richard. This is definitely going to be used on very special shopping occasions. Are there any UK people out there who watch UK QVC? Do you recognize this man, oh, I find him so sexy and hot. Anyway, I got an autograph picture of him, so I'm so, so happy about that, but um, yeah, I just thought I would share that real quick because, you know, it's kind of special. And then I also wanted to share with you guys, this is another swap bot, but for the swap, we had to decorate the outside of our envelopes, and this woman decorated the outside of her envelope so awesome. I will uh, cover up her address here, but that is what the front looks like. It is so beautiful. And then this is what the back looks like. And then she sent items inside. But so this is kind of something um, like somebody asked, you know, how do you decorate your envelopes? And what do you do with the washi tape? Well, you take the washi tape and you kind of decorate the back of it. 
And, you know, you kind of get artsy fartsy on the front of it. I am not artistic at all, but whatever. And then another swap that I was in was called Pamper Yourself. And this is another way, um, I know it's kind of ripped here, but this is another way that you can use the washi tape. Like, as you can see, the bag is decorated here. And inside, she just, you know, gave me a card and she gave me a whole bunch of things to pamper myself. So this first thing is a dual sided facial pad. And you were only supposed to spend like underneath $3. She also sent me the French Lilac Flowers Scented Wax Cubes by Better Homes and Gardens. And then she sent me some sprays. Um, she also sent me two um, nail file emery boards, which was really nice. She sent me these body sprays, which I'm actually going to take with me to work. Um, and we will be using them there. And then she also sent this. This is called Sweet Surrender Moisturizing Body Mist. And then these um, tubes here, this is Sweet Surrender Purifying Antibacterial Hand Gel, perfect for the purse. Um, this is the hand body lotion. And then this one is the body wash. So I just thought that that was really nice that she sent some stuff there. But I think I just got through all of the mail. Um, if it didn't seem like a lot, trust me, I could have dug like deeper into this mail system, but I decided not to just because I didn't want to overwhelm you guys. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed what you saw. And I need a drink of coffee right now. My throat like has a little tickle in it. It's crazy. Probably from those damn black jelly beans, but I need to stop eating them. So anyway, I will see you guys all tomorrow and happy day. Bye everyone.